Hello and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2, a casual playthrough. Last episode we handled some errands for the family, uh, ran around the city of Florence, and realized that our father was now in prison with our brothers, which wasn't good. Today hopefully we can resolve that, maybe talk to Leonardo again, we'll see. Without any further ado, let's just get right into it. Yes, another public speaker. What does he have to say? Remember, all tanning must be conducted outside the city limits. Offenders will be fined. Ooh, that's an interesting point. So, he said that tanners have to do their work outside of the city. That's because of the wretched smell that comes from tanning, which is true. Uh, cities would do that. They would force tanners to a specific district or outside of the city in general. Our father told us to get back to the house and retrieve something for him, so let's see what that is. Hmm. Father said there was a door here. We are looking fresh as hell right now. Damn. Always loved his outfit. It was just, hmm. Traditore! Hey, what with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. There are no other options. Okay, so that escalated really quickly, but I'm sure we won't be killing anyone else. Anyway, let's deliver the letter to <laughs> the person who needs to get it. Hopefully, this can resolve our father's issues. Oh lord, here we go. Successfully escaped. Finally. Okay, letter time. Ezio Auditore? What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah... Uh, I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me. ...contain evidence of a conspiracy... ...against your family... ...and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning... ...and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. I feel like the music and that strange dude in the background don't give me fine feelings, but we'll see. Making our way to the trial. Let's see if we can hop up onto the top of the buildings. Oh my lord. Okay. Well, here we are. We got an issue. Okay, may have forgotten. The sword is equipped. Three quick murders, no problem. Um, let's get out of here. <laughs> Whoops. 
Okay. Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! You need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Father! Hey! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Abba, Tedem. Okay, that was absolutely horrifying. Wow. Our kid brother, our older brother, and um, our father. All gone. That's terrible. Jeez. Now where do we go? I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear, but there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What if my mother and sister? They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No, it's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house, just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. All right, looks like we have a place to go. Got to find our sister and mother at Annette's house. Where is that? North of the Duomo. Alright, I think I know where that is. If only I had looked at all the viewpoints before this. Okay, I think I'm closing in. Wait, wait. Was that... Was that the girl? Is that the girl? You know the girl, the girl that Claudia's boyfriend was cheating on Claudia with. I think it was. Well, I'm glad she's doing all right. <laughs> all right, let's head to the house. Should be nearby. Found you, finally. All right, let's see what it is. Hopefully it's a nice house. Oh my lord. I'm pretty sure it's a brothel. I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? 
to kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Obviously, she didn't see me kill three unarmed people earlier today. So, ha. Ah. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. We'll take good care of you. Okay, who is the Paula in Assassin's Creed 2? Not much information about her. She was going to be a nun and she chose prostitution instead. Interesting choice. Uh, arrested. Oh, arrested for murdering a city guard. But self defense. Nice. Hey, Paula. Paula. We also killed three people definitely in self defense today. So we have that in common. So weird. Okay, she's all business today. That's understandable. Looks like we just have to mix and merge with big groups. I'm not sure why they gave Paola a health bar. I feel like you're underestimating my abilities here, Assassin's Creed 2. Come on. Where do you think he's from? Napoli? Why are the guards so... They're always so interested in me. Is it because I look very handsome and I have a lot of weapons? I mean, it's getting to the point where you can't even walk through Florence with a blood-covered sword you used in self-defense earlier today without getting hassled by people. Like, come on. What a joke. Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Boom, all five real quick. You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. See, si. but how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. Here we go. Leonardo da Vinci to save the day. Gonna make us a new blade. I'm so excited. Whew. Calm down. I gotta calm down. Gotta get to Leo ASAP. Such unbelievable prices I have for you, Stimati Clienti. You will say I am quite... Oh, Ezio Auditore. I... I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah! Where are my manners? Welcome back. Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come, this way. Ah, che pasticcio. Tu, tu santo giorno che cerco. 
helped me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There. It's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard, open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? Si. How may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. Well, that was the greatest scene in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> okay, let's save Leonardo. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Ah, ready to talk? What about now? What a bro he is. Taking kicks for us. Alright, Ezio. Let's kill this dude. Self-defense. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. Okay, ignoring that. Let's quickly steal all this guy's money. I mean, he's not... He doesn't have any use for it. And let's follow Leonardo back to his house. Do you think any of these people are suspicious? Probably not. I wouldn't worry about it. See? Like it never happened. Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Okay, I think that'll do it for episode 3. We unfortunately witnessed the death of a lot of family members today, and that was pretty traumatic. But we did get a hidden blade, which is nice. Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want, no pressure. And uh, I'll see you next time.